Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Pulverized Druid gameplay. Um, so there was actually quite a bit of a nerf that we have received um, for the primarily the Shockwave um, aspect here got nerfed quite a bit. I think the top end was like 280% or 260% they pulled it all the way down to 200% and on top of that the um, <clears throat> the actual Pulverize skill right over where the fuck's pulverize here we go pulverizes um the lucky hit chance went down i think from 35 percent to 27 percent which does hurt the the uh clear quite a bit because we want to trigger our earth and might with it however it's still a very very good build for leveling and i would say this primarily affects the single target of the build and not necessarily the clear so much uh, one of the other things are glyphs got nerfed quite a bit but this is not really a uh a druid thing this isn't a pretty much literally everything thing so for example like exploit glyph scaling got nerfed and pretty much everyone's scaling got nerfed um still want to use the exploit glyph because it is our primary source of vulnerability uh but with that being said i'm just going to go ahead and jump into a dungeon show you guys some gameplay so over here i've got a tier 22 uh so i'm just going to go ahead and pop this up Okay, so let's go ahead and charge over to it. So I've still primarily leveled as uh, as this build, right? We're level 72. The only other spec I've really tried is Tornado Druid. Now, I do know that I know D4 is still, you know, a lot less complex than, say, Path of Exile. But it does take quite a bit of setup to completely switch over your build, especially when you're switching, like, a different element type. And the play style varies. You're redoing almost all the gear. You're redoing your entire Paragon tree. Uh, you're redoing your entire uh, uh, your entire skill tree as well. So I, I did a respect to the Tornado Druid because I found the, uh, the unique helmet. And I gotta say, the single target on that build is obnoxious. Like, I'm talking about 20 times the Pulverized Druid. Uh, the clear, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I really like the clear on the Pulverized Druid. Um, the raw speed on the other character is much better, but it's a lot harder to gear into. So ultimately, I decided to just drop it for now. And if I remember, I'll try to show you guys a clip of some stuff. All right. So we are in our dungeon. I remember, I'm not going to be talking about leveling this character in the previous video I made on Diablo 4 on the Pulverized Druid around like level 50 something. We talked a lot about leveling. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and show you guys a dungeon. Okay. So one of the big ones here on how this works, you want to make sure you're using your Calm Before the Storm boon here. This makes it so you can try to keep up kind of like permanent uptime on your Grizzly Rage. Um, you've got Energize to help with additional spirit. You've got increased duration of your ultimate. I decided to go with the critical strike chance here because you don't need crit damage since you stack crazy amounts of crit damage and reduce damage taken from elites. If I had my helmet that allowed me to use uh, earth skills in a werebear form, then I would also be able to use earth spike as a werebear, which would be huge, but I don't have that. And then I would also then switch my blood howl to uh, the earth shield. But, you know, nonetheless, we don't have that, so let's get to it. So I'm primarily going to be skipping most stuff here. Basically looking for the objectives. So you'll notice sometimes when I hit, my spirit will actually basically uh, completely fill up, right? Whenever it completely fills up, that is the earth and might proc that I was talking about proccing. Like that right there. So that is kind of what we build around. That is what makes the clear really nice on this character. Whenever you are out of spear, you're just going to tap a little bit with your uh, Earth Spike. And then, of course, when you're in your regular form like this, you can generate spirits much faster because you're actually using um, your Earth Spike. I always try to get full uh, full spirit before shifting back. So there we go. Back in the Grizzly Rage. Don't hit me. Okay, cool. Get out of here, bud. What are you doing? Um, I'm also going to give you guys a little bit of tips a little bit later because one of the primary things that was nerfed with this build, right, was the single target. The best way to um, the best way to deal with that, in my opinion, is focus more on into uh, spirit generation. Spirit generation just makes the build feel better. I'm sure a lot of druids right now playing are saying, "How the hell is your spirit actually not completely dumpstered?" Because 
I use two pulverizes, and my guy goes, I'm out of spirit. And I completely understand that. It's very frustrating when that's not set up. So that's one of the things we're going to be talking about. Um, some things to note, and I don't have all the affix slots memorized. Amulets and boots can roll um, resource cost reduction. Oh, ring ancestral. What's this? Please don't be the freaking shapeshift one again. Oh my god, it's a shapeshift one. I don't want to talk about it, guys. I have three of those now. Okay. I still need the helmet. Um, I think we're actually good to open the door here. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I need time to do that. Yeah, so on your on your Paragon board, I actually opted out for modifying a few things here. Um, if I open up the Paragon board right now, let's take a look here. You'll notice that in this session or little section here, right, I actually don't have the, uh, the big node, which is actually located uh, up here. Actually, my dumbass should probably get it instead of coming down here. So this is the board with the, um, whenever you spend spirit, you deal bonus damage, which is very good. The reason I haven't gotten it is because I wanted to prioritize the other nodes, such as maximum spirit, spirit on kill, maximum spirit, maximum spirit, spirit on kill, maximum spirit, spirit on kill, and then down here also there is some more maximum spirit. The reason why I'm prioritizing maximum spirit is when you proc earth and might, your spirit gauge is completely full right so because it's completely full the more you have the more you're kind of replenishing the goal is to kind of be able to juggle um kind of like what i'm doing right now basically right you're, you're trying to make sure so you, you can throw out a couple of pulverizes before you have to uh actually go back to using your generator and the more max spirit we get and the more resource cost reduction the better this will actually feel so here, I'm just going to go ahead and build up my spirit, pop my Mirth and Might, or my Grizzly form, and start Womping. One of the nice things about Grizzly Rage is with one of the uh, modifiers we are using, uh, Aspects, every time we crit, we gain crit damage. So if I were to open my crit damage for you right now, I'm just going to, like, character, you'll notice that my critical damage is actually 849%. <laughs> this means that you don't really need to scale too much crit multi. The The primary focus of your crit multi would be for your single target, where there's not a lot of monsters to proc on. So, you know, you're not doing as much damage, but it's still good enough, right? This is why the Tornado Druid has such good single target, because instead of you doing this fat, meaty pulverize, you're just pooping out these tornadoes that are just multi-hitting over and over and over each just stacking and stacking critical damage. Ooh. Oh, there's the full proc. It's so good when it procs. I love it. So another thing that uh, that proc relies on is actually your lucky hit chance. So lucky hit chance, I know you can get on rings. I don't know if you can get it on amulet. The ring modifier is pretty low. You can get it on gloves, which is what I'm trying to get it on now. Uh, gloves are huge for the build because gloves roll like 8% plus lucky hit where I'm at. Uh, and that's more than both of the rings put together. Yeah, yeah, I know you're out of spirit, man. It's I must wait a moment. Oh. I need more time. I need more time. What? Oh, okay, I keep... I thought he just respawned again. I was so confused. I need more time. I need more spirit. See here, Maul is pretty unfun to use for a spirit generator. This is why I really want that Earth and Might. Or, sorry, not the Earth and Might. The little, uh... You guys saw what I was using in the regular form, right? The little, uh, this thing right here. Um, since that's also tagged as an Earth skill, that can proc Earth and Might, I believe it's called, which gets us all of our spirit back.
Okay, very nice. I must wait a I don't even know if I'm going to get to show this single target because I don't know if, uh, I don't know if this is going to have a boss because usually when it has the kill all these dudes, there's no boss, which makes me sad because I like doing single target. Yeah, I think it's actually done here. Whee! Oh, the amb Dude, I love when this happens. I love when you just get completely ambushed by the mobs. Oh, it's the best thing as Bear Druid. Oh, down they go. There's a tier 22. Okay, I'm just going to level up our Werebear. All right, so that pretty much concludes that. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the character a little bit more, you know, kind of kind of just give you guys how I sort of built the character real fast. Then we'll pretty much be done. So <clears throat> talking about the spirit boons, um, I never really use thorns. Maximum spirit is kind of okay. I think damage reduction from elites is best. Um, CC reduction doesn't matter too much because you have unstoppable while you are in Grizzly Rage. Uh, crit chance I think is huge. Life is pretty good, but just defensive. Attack speeds, quality of life. I don't think crit damage is good. Um, companion we don't use. Uh, Energize is nice for just extra chance at rolling some spirit gen. Um, I don't really care about the fortify. And duration of ulti is really good. Uh, because for every second during the duration, you can stack more crit damage, you get more damage reduction, you get more increased damage. Um, Obsidian Slam got Giga nerfed, and I think Overpowered is just a really bad mechanic, unfortunately. Uh, we're not doing Lightning. Uh, this is not bad, but, I mean, you can just pot. I mean, you're pretty defensive as Werebear as it is. Uh, and then this is really good for the 10% um, chance to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate. Now, let's talk about the gear real fast. I'll explain the, the gear choices I'm using. Um, helmet, don't care about the strength, don't care about the armor, really. Like, armor is nice, I just feel there's better stats I could get on here. Um, 400 life is the primary reason for this. I've spent 9 million gold trying to reroll a helmet. Nothing. So, kind of sad about that. Always use DR while fortified in your armor because we have perma fortify. Because Grizzly Rage gives 8% base life is fortified per second while Grizzly Rage is, a or Rage is active. Uh, body armor, Insatiable Fury, gives huge armor. DR while fortified, uh, overpowered damage is useless and the physical damage is okay. Uh, primary goal or reason of this is actually plus 2 to all werebear. Um, these gauntlets here, essentially they have pulverize and crit chance with willpower, so that last stat, I'm not really sure what I would want on it. Um, attack speed's kind of quality of life, I I'm not sure. I really wish we could see stats, like what we can roll on the, like, um, the occultist, but it doesn't show us, so it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, pants, I've got a DR from distant enemies, life, willpower, damage reduction. Um, talking about the gloves again. Imprinted Earth Skills deal more crit damage to crowd control enemies. If this is just flat, like 35% crit damage, I actually don't really think that's worth it. Um, I'd rather use something defensive because as we showed, one Pulverize is going to give me more than 30 something crit damage, right? So, not really sure. Um, then we have uh, this right here, these pants. So, these pants give us the Giga Armor Scaling. That Armor Scaling helps a lot while we're mapping. Um, these over here, our boots have Spirit Cost Reduction Movement Speed. That's really all that's on there. 
Um, I'd love to get maybe some res. I'm not exactly sure what else, but movement speed, spirit cost reduction, kind of huge. I really, really like them. The plus two fortify, or plus two to all earth skills while you have fortify, works for our pulverize because we convert it to earth. On our weapon, uh, the DPS is not amazing on it, but it does have the 54% vuln damage bonus. It's got the core skill damage. It's got a huge willpower roll, and then it's got crit damage in general. I know I said not to get a lot of crit damage, but since you're not 100% in your grizzly rage, especially when your gearing is not perfect, these big sources of crit damage are not bad just for getting like that big hit off, right? You still want to stack it, but you don't want to go kind of like overboard if that sort of makes sense. On the amulet, I've got a uh, plus three stone guard passive, werebear skill damage, ulti skill damage, DR from close enemies. I don't know how ulti skill damage works with this build. Stone guard is actually an awesome passive on the skill tree. So over here, uh, stone guard is basically giving us 24% more damage while we have fortify. Above 50%, we always have fortify, right? So that's really nice. Okay. I like to use uh, diamonds in here for all res. You can use skulls for armor. I'm not actually sure what's better. So rings, I was basically looking for crit, uh, crit, life, lucky hit. And then if I could get max spirit, I would take max spirit. Um, so those are the primary things. That's what I could actually get on gloves. Instead of strength, lucky hit would be huge. Uh, over here, I've got the imprint core skills deal increased damage based on your amount of fortify. We're primarily at full fortify all the time. Um... This one over here has the Grizzly Rage that I was talking about. Uh, the, the Grizzly Rage is very, very big because of the critical strike damage by 10% for the duration. This is what makes me not want to scale a bunch of crit multi, right? And then on the weapon, of course, we have the Shockwave. Shockwave is BIS for the build, right? We can't really get away from that. Then over here, we're using Pulverize is now an Earth skill. That's what allows us to scale off of all of the Earth bonuses. So we've got the, uh, the, the ring base is actually garbage. It's got overpower damage to injured enemies. The crit chance is okay, really low roll. The lucky hit is nice. Um, I don't know if it's worth getting the lucky hit on rings, but I think I need as much lucky hit as, as possible. All right, so from here, I'll just flash my stats. I've never really actually looked at this, but uh, yeah, just kind of showing you guys. Oh my God, that's so bad. That's, oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> uh, I need more lucky hit. Okay, uh, Spear Boons, we, we just talked about abilities. So, abilities, there's a lot of flexibility here. I like Earth Spike as our generator because it's ranged and, uh, I don't know, it just actually feels okay. Um, if we can get the helmet that allows us to use Earth skills in Werebear, it'll feel 10 out of 10. So, from here, we've also got the uh, Enhanced Earth Spike into this one. You can also just take this for Fortify, but I don't have Fortify issues. So, Maximum Spirit. Basic generators generate more spirit. Core skills deal more damage, but cost more spirit. Pulverize all the way into enemies deal reduced damage. I don't think this one's worth it, especially after the nerf to Obsidian Slam. Uh, over here, I've got crit against close enemies. Um, damage reduction while in Werebear. All res. Uh, debilitating roar into uh, Fortify and Heal. Nature's Reach for damage to distant enemies doubles if they are slowed. Our Earth skill is slow, so this is 18% more damage to mobs far away. We do primarily hit with the Shockwave for clearing. Over here, we've got Earth skills increase damage to slowed stun. These are pretty much all multipliers to my knowledge. Uh, the passive we talked about. Critical strikes with Earth skills fortify you. Um, trample into Enhanced Trample, Savage Trample. Now, I'm also using... I'm also using... Uh, Blood Howl, uh, it's not supposed to be an attack speed, with Spirit Gen. I would recommend Earth and Bulwark because it's a lot more tanky, but you can't use either of these in your Grizzly Rage, so it's a little annoying. That's what the helmet also fixes. Um, so we've got Nature Magic Damage is bonus damage to elites. This counts for bosses and actually players. Uh, bonus damage to vulnerable enemies. Magic skills that consume Spirit heal you for your base life. Grizzly Rage. And Earth and Magic, or Might. Then the last one to talk about would be our Paragon Tree. So, I, you know, just start off here, pretty much went through everything. A common strat that I do is when you're close to, like, a big break point, I'll pull out of nodes, get the point, and then fill them back in, right? So right now I can't really get anything, so I'm jumping down into here. 
So right over here, I've got the vulnerability glyph uh, for exploit because it is our main source of vulnerability. Helps a lot with clearing. It only procs. It is not very consistent for procking, but it's enough for clearing, which is what I care about. Another alternative is not using a defensive skill here like Blood Howl and using like uh, Hurricane. Hurricane um, can actually apply vulnerability, so that is another way you can do it. Up here um, on this little section, I've got these survival instincts, so you always want to stay at close to full health to get that big damage bonus. Then we are using um, bonus damage while in werebear form here for the willpower. I'm trying to hit this to 15 so I can essentially get the benefits of this node and this node, uh, which will give another 20 willpower, which will activate the damage reduction. Pretty excited for that. Now, over here, this is the one we talked about where we're basically getting all of the maximum spirit. And I really need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and grab this because we, as you guys see, we just really just dump spirit. Um, so I think Ancestral Guidance will be very, very, very nice. Um, Blizzard devs, why do you have Potion Healing on here? Please change this into more spirit. I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, but right now, I was going to come down here for the Glyph Socket. It's honestly probably better that I just take the Ancestral Guidance. Anyway, that is primarily it. So before we stop, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little teaser of the Stormwolf setup that we did. Now, the Stormwolf setup takes a lot more gear, and I'm not really going to be covering it right now. Uh, but okay, right, just a little example. Fell off. So this is me. You can see spamming um, my tornado on the world boss. Now, remember all about the Earth and Might. When Earth and Might procs, our globe gets the full MP. So Wait just take it. a look at the HP here. Wait for it. Rampant. Rampant. Okay, so no, he runs get, away. Get back here. And Rampin! Rampin! There is the proc. You can Holy just see shit. the health bar. <laughs> Ramboys! Now the coolest thing about this is if this was actually set up and I was triggering this more often, the damage would just multiply on multiply on multiply and it just goes like crazy because remember, remember the Grizzly Might? Every single one of these crits gets 10% crit multi. So if you look, they start off at like 80k, 90k, 100k, 120k, 180k, close to 200, right? So this character has some extreme scaling when you uh, fix the spirit management. So it's definitely something I'm interested to play potentially for like late game. Um, very cool build. Did not get nerfed by Blizzard, so even even more reason to play it. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much about it. So anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. So... Anyway, uh, if you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.